Coming up next, it's a middleweight matchup between Israel Adesanya and Shale Summit. fighters in this division against maybe the best grappler in this division. Going to be interesting to see how it plays out stylistically. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. All right, here we go, early round one. We talked about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can play it. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Wow. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh. Just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Right-left combo by Sonnet. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And that one was heavy. Oh, oh big nice knee. Man. Back to the knee. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this fight. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Get right here. Israel Adesanya gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. He's got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, on and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination. When you walk out to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes... Oh, he can't really caught the kick there. And then counters with the takedown. So a lot of fighters, when they catch that kick, will move immediately into the takedown, and it worked out for him there. It works out great. Caught the leg, drove right into his opponent, and put him on his back. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent work. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top control? Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Good, solid strike on the ground. Oh, and he's back up again. Israel Adesanya gets the tie clinch here. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, that's a pretty filthy combination there by Sonnet. 
timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, that's gonna soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Final seconds of round one. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must be... All right, here we go with round two. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Nice punch lands over the top. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just blowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice his size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice stick with the right hand. And he lands a big left hand there. Both of these guys going all out. Oh! Lose her. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. And they set him. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Beautiful punch. Just missed with the left there. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. What a fight! Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. the ground and pound strike. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Just over two minutes now to go on the round. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Sonnet. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, he's got
off the ground and down going now. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Sonnet. Lands the ground and down strike here. 30 seconds to go in round two. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, nice. Strike to the body. This could be the end. This fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot. For the body. He landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got the move. All right, so here we go, third and final round. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Changes his stance. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing, man, is a three double leg. My goodness, he has a three double leg. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Keep working to the half guard. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Adesanya gets up. He is back on the feet here. What a body kick. Shale Sonnen gets caught with that punch. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Shale's lower jaw now starts to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that, but a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Both fighters throwing heat now. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Good takedown defense by Israel. Switching stances here. Oh, single collar tie here. Israel Adesanya gets in the clinch yet again. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more with that game. was an eventuality, so if you're the referee, you gotta protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. The official decision is in. Here is the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine's called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 34 seconds of the third round. I can swallow it, swallow it. 